I've done a whole career of, of being an artist. I've worked for museums, I've worked for toy companies and giftware companies. I think I've been doing this since I was five, I think. I've been fascinated with monsters and creativity and sculpting and painting and model making and all these things for most of my life. So I'm doing prosthetics, turning people into monsters, making them old, creating aliens or the living dead or and even horrifying effects like cutting people's arms and legs off or cutting their heads off, stabbing them, <laughs> pulling out their intestines. I do all that sort of range of makeup in um, my end of the business. I've always been attracted to the unusual, I think, because I grew up watching television shows that were unusual, like The Twilight Zone and The Outer Limits. And there was so much for a young, fertile mind to like absorb. And I wanted to like create those worlds and create these creatures and this whole realm of things. I just had to be part of it. I just find it just so fascinating just to create all these things. If I'm doing a makeup for somebody, it's, it's usually a prosthetic. Like this one is a, like a mid-transformation werewolf face. So I would uh, have to actually take a casting of the actor, like a life cast, and then uh, we'll duplicate his face in plaster or, or plastic. And then we'll take uh, oil-based clay and we'll sculpt these features onto it in oil-based clay. We're always going to need makeup artists in film and TV. There's always going to be a need for it. You don't have to be into special effects. You could just do straight makeup. You can just do uh, beauty makeup. You know, there's so many different realms to makeup. No matter how much computers come in and everything, you still have to have actors, you still have to have ma them in makeup, them in prosthetics, them in far out suits and things like that. Because even with CGI, a lot of times you can render a lot of it in the computer, but many times they, it has to be a model to be scanned. So they need a creative artist to do that. So I'm only great because I've made enough mistakes, <laughs> that's for sure.